Hey, it's Gohario here. It's time for another Miku Miku Dance tutorial or MMD tutorial. Just covering some more bases. If you missed my last video, it'd really help if you watched that one. Just click that picture right there, it'll take you to the video. Hopefully. Anyways, the things that we'll be covering today, basics, are where to download more models, facials and sliders of the models, and moving the camera and different camera effects. Let's do it! A great place to find a bunch of models is DebianArt.com. I have a bunch of MMD models there. Pretty helpful. Alright, we made it. So this is Debian Art, and uh, there's ways you can search for models. One way you can just type, just type in MMD models, see what you get. Download the one you want and you see the list. Just go through and see what you like. Any of, any of these. But uh, some, some, uh, most of them are actually all free. There's barely any that you get to pay for. Like barely any. But uh, or you can search a certain type of model. And uh, there's actually some people who uh, cut the, some models from video games and uh, put them into an MMD. Which is really cool, actually. When I think about it. But uh, today I already have enough, a model I'm going to use. You can use the same one if you want for convenience. Make a model, and then put in the picture or whatever. And most people, for that matter, they'll have the download right here, or they can be in the screen. Yeah. And now we wait. Alright, now that I downloaded, so you can open this folder. The raw folder, whatever, same thing. Meh. Alright, it loaded. So uh, now I have these things. And it'd be easy, the best to so you go back to your folder where you had your Miku Miku Dance application. And you go inside user file. And then so inside that folder, which should be already a folder called model. The easiest, the best is put it in there. I was rocking there, but blah blah blah. Alright, now they're in here. But, uh, best thing to. Oh, yeah, just, just so you know, you can move around these folders, so these ones outside here. But inside the folder, you shouldn't rename any of these, or you shouldn't move these out of the folder. So I'll mess up the model and make it like like only white and have no texture or anything. Other than that, it should be good. So now you go back to MMD, click on load. And look what we have here. So let's choose one of these. Or you can open all three of them actually if you want to. And uh, most models these days are going to be called, like the extension is going to be called .pmx. There'll be some that are .pmd, but either one still works if you open it. Double click that. Click OK. And then. And then. Ta -da! We have our model. You can also open more than one too, so you don't have to edit only one. Now, uh, it's one thing out of the way. Now let's work with the facials. Now we already learned how to where to find models and how to download and load them. Let's work on the facials. So uh, let's just work with the eyes first. Facials are these little sliders down here. They each do something, and most of the time, whenever you download a model. Facials will already be named, like this could be blink, this thing would be a uh, smile blink or angry blink or whatever. <laughs> but uh, yeah, let's we'll just do this for now. Let's use blink. What we're gonna do is just, just press, uh, how blinking works actually before I explain anything. It works just like how the how the bones for the body work. How you register, register basically. So let's just say it will start at zero. And we go to like, I don't know, 30 frames and register it to be blinking like that. That's all we did, and register. What that means is that it from it's going to take 30 frames for it to close, for the eyes to close. And it'll look like that. It's great in that, but eyes don't normally close like that unless you're a, a, either a weirdo or you're a loser. Now we're not weird of the movies, but we're gonna do this. We're gonna start, I'd say, like, right here. Let's wait a bit of time. 
So her eyes will still be open, the register's staring, that her eyes will still be open by this time. And then five frames, her eyes will close. And just make it stay closed for just one more frame, and then open in four frames. If you do that correctly, if you do all that, it should look like this. That's an actual blink. The mouth, the eyebrows, and what says other, it's the same thing. It's the exact same properties. So if we wonder how to open our mouth, say something, it just opens the okay. If you do this, we, we start the mouth opening is, I'd say, like 23 frames. And at 5 frame, frame 35, her mouth will be fully open. Just keep it open for like 10 frames, I guess. It's just it'll be the same thing, just keep it open by then. And we close it in 5. So it'll look like this. Great. Easy, right? I hope it is. <laughs> hope it's not going too fast. Alright. So now I have that out of the way, so just for fun, let's, uh, let's add a little movement to Let's just make it a little bit more exciting. So let's make her start moving at like frame 15. So click register here, because nothing, if we, start, if we uh, were to make a move over here, it will be saying that by 0, and you go all the way to like 15, to like 20 or 15, to start moving already. If you want her to start moving by 15. So we register it here, and let's just start moving after that. So let's make her like nod her head or body to the side. And this is what I was talking about before. You don't have to like remember you register things. You don't have to register all. You can just register the things you're moving. The things you're moving will go up green like that. And if you want to select more than one bone, you Press the hold shift and you click all those bones you want and register. Yay! Let's move our arms over here. Same thing. So I'm making this quick so it's not gonna look that good or anything. And then by uh, frame 45, let's move her our body. Like the like this. If you want, you can hold on. open up, take two on. Okay. Oh, that moves your eyes, by the way. Most miles will be like that. Mediocre, but you see where, see where I'm getting at. That's how you do the facials and stuff like that. So now how do you work the camera? So to get the camera, you click you click on this arrow right here. Click camera light and accessory. There. Camera. I think about it. It's just like facials and it's just like moving the body. You use the same register thing. And well, for example. If I wanted the, the camera to start right here, the register would start right there now. But if I wanted it to move uh, past her by 30, it's going to be right here. Just move it there, click register. And by 30, it'll be over there. Simple. Easy. Now, if I wanted it to click it, if I wanted to, to move after she's done moving, like about right there, the register there, and then I'd say like 30 frames there, then move it. Yay! Oh, and to move it, in case you don't know, uh, if you're using a mouse, it's the middle wheel, the scrolling wheel, to so zoom in and out. So you just push the down and move the mouse. If you don't have a mouse, get the Get rid of ways, dang. I'll I'll get I'll put it that in the description or I'll make a little like note of it somewhere. But yeah. So in the to rotate the mouse, the camera, you press the right click. It's sometimes you right click and hold. And 
movements and move the mouth to that's basically all the movements to move the camera, middle wheel, rotate, right click, or if you, I guess if you don't have a if you don't have a mouse, you could use these buttons down here to move it to. You can get the job done as well, and you can just rotate too. Yeah, you know. so that's, that's that. And these are the you don't have to mess with these very much. It's a slight manipulation. You can just change these to whatever you want. I would leave it the same because everything else looks good. Unless you're making a picture or something. And I said it before, you can leave that alone. It's just a shadow manipulation. Might make things kind of look kind of weird if you mess with it. Just leave that alone. And that's most thing with it. If you want, you can load more models too. Go, 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 go. Start all the side. Never stay here. Yet. It's the same thing for every model, too. You can have more than one at once. Uh, this should be it for the tutorial. Uh, this is just the bas basic basics. Next, we'll actually be doing some of the stuff. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. If you want to save your animation, go to up here to file, and click save as, or click save, either one will. You should bring up the prompt, bring up this prompt, and you can save it wherever you want to save it. Let's go with this. There it is. There it is. There right now. And now it's saved. If you want to open it again, you see file open, and just click on the name of the project. Now that's the end of my tutorial, and that's the end. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and let's get it!